Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button if you guys are enjoying the content that we're throwing up. And uh, make sure you guys hit the like button if you enjoy the video. And yeah, let's begin. What's going on guys, this is Rob. It's been a while since we've done a Beyond Omega level video. And at long last, after countless requests, most of them coming from Aaron Wilder, I'm finally giving in. Let it never be said that I am not a benevolent ruler of the Rob Corps, because today on Beyond Omega level, we're covering Resurrection Man. So without further ado, let's get into his origin. So Resurrection Man was created by Dan Abnett, Andy Lanning, and Jackson Geese, and first appeared in Resurrection Man number one in 1997. And according to his creators, Resurrection Man was based on a Marvel character called Mr. Immortal, who was a member of the Great Lakes Avengers, which is basically a comedy team filled with characters that their powers were honestly kind of stupid but as his name suggests mr immortal's power was simple he was immortal he could be killed but every time he died he'd be involuntarily resurrected and that's basically it that's his only superpower he has no other extraordinary abilities whatsoever and so abnett and lanning realized that immortality on its own is a pretty terrible superpower to have but it gave them an idea for a new character to create which is similar in concept to mr immortal but with a twist that makes him less useless so resurrection man's real name is mitch shelley who who was a lawyer in South Carolina that actually had mob connections because everyone knows South Carolina is a hot spot for mafia activity. But anyway, a group simply known as The Lab used Mitch as an unwitting test subject for technology they were developing known as tektites, which are basically microscopic nanobots that heal damaged cells. The result of this experimentation was that Shelley lost his memory but gained the ability to resurrect himself upon his death. The twist that Abnett and Lanning added to Resurrection Man is that not only does he return to life every time he dies, but each time he's resurrected, he gains a new superpower that is related to the way he died. Now, we would learn a bit more about Mitch's true nature during his encounter with the Phantom Stranger, a being that's walked the Earth for millennia. Now, while Mitch is in a comatose state, he's approached by the Phantom Stranger, who tells him that the two of them have worked together over the course of many lifetimes, and that Mitch is one of his oldest friends, suggesting that Mitch is much older than we originally thought. Now, the Phantom Stranger also reveals that in the past, Mitch would not resurrect, but instead be reincarnated as a completely new person and did not gain new powers each time he died. As it turned out, those abilities were given to him by the lab. But before that, Mitch was something much older, and as he reaches out into the astral plane, he recognizes the face of his longtime nemesis, Vandal Savage. Now, toward the end of his first solo series, it would be revealed that while the source of Mitch's immortality is unknown, the lab that gave him his power of instant resurrection and revolving superpowers was working under the direction of Vandal Savage. Now, upon realizing he possesses the ability to resurrect with new powers, Mitch wanders the earth trying to remember his identity and how he received his abilities. One of the few things he remembers is that he was able to fly, which is something he finds out mere seconds before being shot by some gang members executing a drive-by. Now Mitch also falls to his death, but then wakes up to realize not only that he's alive, but that now instead of flight, he possesses the ability to manipulate the air around him into a hard construct of sorts. He uses this ability to stop an out-of-control semi as it careens toward a diner. While Mitch is trying to rescue the driver, the truck explodes explodes, killing him once again. But then he reawakens, this time possessing pyrokinesis. And so all those deaths and resurrections took place within just one issue, Resurrection Man number one. But in the next issue, we see a good example of Resurrection Man's abilities in relation to some more well-known DC characters, as he happens upon the Justice League as they battle the supervillain Amazo, who's a giant android with the ability to mimic the powers of those he comes into contact with. Now the Justice League have their hands full with Amazo, but Resurrection Man gets involved in the battle in order to help some bystanders standards and also uses his pyrokinesis to cauterize a wound suffered by the flash. Now when the building that Mitch is in explodes, he dies once again, but this time he comes back from the dead with the ability to create powerful explosions, which he uses to blow Amazo apart ending the battle. And so this is an impressive feat, as Amazo had been too much for the combined forces of the Flash, Green Lantern, Martian Manhunter, Wonder Woman, and Superman. But even though it's impressive, it does not really even come close to being Omega level, and Mitch himself says as much in the aftermath, remarking that he isn't in the same league as the heroes who are able to level cities and save millions, while he only has, as he describes it, budget superpowers. So he has like the sci-fi channel version of superpowers, right? Now later, Mitch would encounter Tommy Monahan, better known as Hitman, who decides that he's going to help Mitch take on the lab by killing him repeatedly until he gets a power that's strong enough upon his resurrection. We really need to cover this guy's stories. Now after several attempts where Mitch comes back to life with the ability to create colorful butterflies made of light or change colors like a chameleon, Hitman is finally satisfied when Mitch gains the ability to manipulate cosmic energy along with a sort of cosmic awareness. 
Saturnus. Now, it could be argued that Resurrection Man was bordering on Omega level at this point, as he seemed to be able to manipulate both energy and matter on an atomic level. And this shows us why we can consider Resurrection Man a beyond Omega level character, because at any time, he could be killed and come back to life with any power, including those that would make him a planetary or universal threat. The problem is, he rarely keeps those powers for very long, and he dies a lot because dying and coming back to life with different powers is kind of what makes his character interesting. Now, there would be other instances where Resurrection Man could be at or near Omega level as well, such as the time he was subjected to the reality warping abilities of a villain known as Schism, which resulted in him dying and gaining what he calls quantum telekinesis, which in practice seems to be a form of reality warping. In fact, Mitch describes this ability by saying that he feels like he can do anything he wants, and Superman describes his power as reality warping, which leads him to finding Resurrection Man and bringing him in to help the Justice League defeat a villain called Major Force, who I believe was the same guy that stuffed uh, Kyle Rayner's girlfriend in a refrigerator. The guy was kind of a dick. Now, Mitch helps them, but ultimately decides not to join the Justice League, saying that the superhero life was simply not for him. And so, over the course of his history, Resurrection Man has had a variety of powers, and it would really take too long to list them here, but everything from super strength to energy absorption to super speed to shape-shifting to optic blast, if it's a superpower you can think of, he's probably had it. But what makes him potentially beyond Omega level, or at least definitely beyond Omega level, is the possibility that at any time, he could resurrect with a power that has devastating potential. And that happened on a couple of occasions when he gained matter manipulation and reality warping powers. In the DC 1 million miniseries, a possible future was revealed where Mitch had a device known as the Resurrector that allowed him to choose the power he would have upon his resurrection. And in that instance, he could definitely be a beyond Omega level character as he could grant him himself all those powers at any point in time. Keep in mind that it's not considered in continuity, but should it ever come to pass, Resurrection Man would become one of the most powerful characters in DC Comics on a permanent basis instead of only for short stints when he possessed matter manipulation and reality warping before being killed again. But with that being said, guys, we're going to bring this video to an end. Aaron Wilder, I hope you're happy that you got a video on Resurrection Man. I mean, God knows you actually got a whole ton of members of the Rob Corps to rally to your side, right? Like it was kind of funny because I was, I was wondering how long this was going to go on for. And like literally it wasn't, it, it stopped being just you asking for Resurrection Man, and it started being groups of people, right? Like whole groups of people who were like, don't worry, Aaron Wilder, we're gonna get Rob to do a video on Resurrection Man. So I hope you're happy that you have it. You managed to rally the Rob Corps to your side. And so I have done it. Uh, for real and for true though, it wasn't that I was ignoring you. It was just that I get so many different requests. It's really hard to, hard to fulfill them all. So uh, here you go, man, your video on Resurrection Man. I hope you enjoyed it. I have no doubt that Aaron Wilder is going to ask for more stuff. You guys always do. I literally had a guy who did that. That, right? He asked for a Beyond Omega level video. I made a comment. He was probably going to ask for more stuff and he did. So, uh, <laughs> as always, post your request down below in the comment section. Uh, but if you guys are new here to Comments Explained, make sure you guys hit the sub button to become part of the Rob Corps. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure you drop a like and I will catch you all later. Peace.